Hi everyone, it is that time again. It seems to be coming around quicker every month, <laughs> um, but not that I'm complaining. Uh, so I'm a little bit later doing this unboxing than I ordinarily would be, um, mainly because uh, I haven't actually been able to stand up properly for a couple of days. So I had um, a little bit of an accident on Friday which meant I spent most of that evening in a &E with a suspected broken ankle. Uh, but luckily, well, I say luckily, um, it was just a pretty bad sprain. So I've had to obviously keep my weight off my ankle for the last few days to kind of let it um, recover and, and for the swelling and, and stuff to go down. Um, so I haven't obviously been able to kind of stand up like I'm doing now and, uh, and film this for you. but. I'm, I'm here now. I've kind of still kind of got my weight more on the other ankle than, than the one that I hurt, but I am kind of more able to, to move around a little bit, uh, a little bit more now than I was uh, originally. So better late than never. Um, I'm going to be showing you the contents of the November Natural Beauty Box, which as I'm sure you're all aware by now, is my absolute favourite. So for those of you who are maybe new to this box or new to this channel and I haven't really heard of the natural beauty box before. They uh, are a monthly subscription box and they contain only natural beauty products. They're always cruelty free and um, they're often vegan, often organic and they also do plastic free boxes um, every quarter as well. But I'll go into more detail about that a little bit later. What I like to do is get straight into the fun part which is obviously the unboxing itself. So let me open this up. And every month there's always a theme. Um, so the theme for November is Sweet Dreams, which I think is quite apt, uh, considering a lot of us feel like going into hibernation at this time of year. There's also a few little leaflets here. So this doesn't always happen, um, but there's actually three leaflets here for some of the brands that are included in this box. Now I won't hold them up just at this second so I don't spoil the surprise for those of you who want to kind of see it as we go along um, but as kind of we're going through if I come across the um, brand I will obviously hold the leaflet up as well and, and kind of tell you a little bit about what information is on that leaflet as well and um, so I'll just pop these off to the side here so I can grab them when I need them and I've also got the product card here um, just for reference for prices and things like that. So I'm just going to peel the stick of it. There we go. And then I will hold it up to show you. So looking at this, nothing is open or leaking, which is always a good sign. But there we go. Um, so let's get straight into it. So the first one, I've actually seen, I think, most of the spoilers for this month's box, which is unusual. Usually I only see, um, you know, two or three. Uh, but this time around, I think I've seen pretty much all of them um, and been really excited pretty much since the first spoiler was posted. Um, so the first item um, is something, I think these were featured a couple of months ago now. I've, I'm getting kind of... As, as you get older, the, uh, the months all fall into one. Um, but I'm sure these were featured a couple of months ago. Um, and it's Bloom and Blossom, but it's the Pajama Armor, I think it is. Yeah, dry body oil. And this is worth £12. So I think it was the, um, the Sleep Spray or the Pillow Mist that was featured uh, a couple of months ago. Also would have been perfect for this box too. Um, but this is highly moisturising and easily applied, beautiful texture and soothing aroma. So it sinks in quickly and leaves you feeling calm and content, ready for a restful night's sleep. So I'm wondering if it's the same scent as the pillow spray. Yeah, it is. I can smell it already. Um, so obviously it's got a nice little spray um, applicator as well. One thing that I, when I get oils, I love a good oil. Um, one of the things that's a little bit of a bugbear for me is when oils come and you literally just unscrew it and there's no applicator or there's no like kind of spray. Um, so you end up pouring and it just goes everywhere and you get too much um, and then product goes to waste. So I like it when they have the, the applicators like this so you can get just the right amount that you need. I'm just gonna see if there's any more information on here. Um, so yeah, cruelty free as always, vegan. 
uh, naturally derived and made in Great Britain. So you could probably use this alongside the sleep spray that was included a couple of months ago um, for even more of a effect. I really like that sleep spray as well. I've tried it a couple of times. It definitely matches up to one of the more um, I'm sure you'll know which one I mean, but I'm not going to mention the actual brand, but a very well-known um, sleep spray that's very popular um, by a very popular brand that I am a fan of, um, but the one from uh, Bloom and Blossom is just as good in my opinion. But that is item number one, the um, dry body oil. So let's have a look here. So we now have, now please forgive me if this pronunciation isn't perfect um this is i believe is chapito and it's mt sleep oil and this is worth nine pounds so this is a perfect blend of essential oils to help you sleep more deeply so you can add a few drops to your bath if you uh, are having a bath before bed or even like a foot soak i guess you could do the same uh, you can pop it onto your pillow um, onto your pyjamas or into a diffuser. So I have one just here. So something like this um, to obviously get the oil um, around your house or around the room, wherever it is that you want to diffuse it in. Um, and it helps to relax your body and mind to help you achieve a full night's sleep. So it's lavender, romaine, chamomile and marjoram. And I think this brand, now I'm sure this is what it said on the Natural Beauty Box Instagram, uh, but a couple of months ago, we had a body butter from a brand called Dahlia. Um, and I believe this um, sleep oil, the Chapito sleep oil is the, the same lady who runs Dahlia is also behind this company as well. Um, so she's a bit, busy little bee, <laughs> um, but definitely got a business mind. Uh, but obviously with this kind of thing, even though it's only a small um little does it say how big it is it doesn't actually say what milliliters it is um but you only need a couple of drops so even though it's only a little bottle because you only need a drop or two because it's so concentrated it'll last you for a long time so something like this will, because i like to alternate what i'm using i don't necessarily use the same one all the time um this will last me quite a while to be fair so that is item number two so let's have a look and we have now an, a brand that I'm not familiar with which is always good I like to be introduced to new brands as well as products from brands that I'm already aware of but maybe I haven't necessarily tried that particular product but this is a completely new brand for me um, and it's Milita natural skincare combination face oil so this is worth £9.50 and it got the silver award at the Global Green Beauty Awards. So it's suitable for all skin types, but it has been made with more oily or combination skin types in mind um, to rebalance the production of uh, sebum. So obviously our natural oil um, that's produced in our skin. Um, and it uses non-pore clogging natural oils, including jojoba and argan, and also calming rose geranium scent. It's obviously a nice calming scent. You can pop this on at night um, with your usual skincare routine. And uh, it's designed to obviously help to relax you before you go to bed. Just having a look here to see if there's anything else, any other bits of information, but there isn't. Again, a cute little pot. Um, it's got a little dropper applicator so you can obviously get the exact amount that you need and again because it's an oil you only need one or two drops to apply to your face so it should last quite a while anyway if you apply more than i find if i apply more than kind of two drops of oil to my face it feels really greasy um and it feels like it's kind of clogging up my skin but this is obviously designed to um, not be not be pore clogging which is what we want particularly for oily and combination skin types that are prone to that kind of thing happening anyway um, so that is item number three so then we have a brand i'm very familiar with uh, but never sad to see included in boxes like this um, so we have urban vida and it is their Radiance Replenishing Night Cream. And this is worth £19.99. So we have a leaflet here for them as well. So that was one of the leaflets that was included. And there's a 20% discount code on the back, which I will put in the description below. Uh, but this is uh, the... 20% discount code is only redeemable against this cream. So obviously if you get the box, 
you use the cream and you really like it, you can use the code to get yourself another one. Um, so this is enriched with anti-inflammatory turmeric to improve its skin tone, licorice to support elasticity and restore suppleness, Arjuna to reduce the appearance of fine lines and patchouli to reduce scarring and heal dry skin. So I'm just having a look on here. It looks like it's, I'm assuming, full size. Let's open it out. So here's the little pot. Um, they are cruelty free and, and vegan as well. Um, and I believe, let's have a look. It's got papaya, marigold and goji berry in there as well to plump and rehydrate skin overnight. Now, Urban Veda use a lot of um, Ayurvedic principles. Now, that's um, something I believe that originated in India. Um, and it's a lot of kind of natural uh, ingredients that they like to use rather than kind of your traditional medicines. Um, so this little leaflet here just mentions um, that it's been clinically proven to help even skin tone by 56% and improve skin radiance by 30% in eight weeks. So very much looking forward to uh, putting that to the test. But that is item number four. Just to quickly mention as well, um, this facial oil here, um, there's a little leaflet about this company as well. I believe this is seed paper. So I think you can actually plant this paper afterwards and it will sprout into some form of um, flower or plant of some description. Uh, but this just gives you a little bit more information about the product itself. And there's also the social media handles at the bottom there as well. So that's four items. We now have item number five, which is a brand I'm very familiar with. I have a few of their products in my bathroom as we speak, uh, but not this one. I've not actually tried this particular one. So always nice to be introduced to new products, but it's Dr. Paul Paul and it's their overnight lip treatment, which is worth £8.95. So this melts onto the lips, fully absorbing for an intense lip mask treatment with an addition of natural peptides to both plump the lips and smooth any fine lines. So it's again, fragrance free, it's vegan friendly and it's cruelty free as well. Now I use their um, original lotion in the yellow tube. Um, it's It just works for everything. You can put it on your cuticles, you can put it, you can put it on eczema, which I tend to get a couple of patches of eczema on my neck here and also just on my wrist where my watch strap goes uh, sometimes can get a little bit irritated as well um, and the yellow balm is amazing for that so I'm, I'm expecting very similar results from uh, this lip mask and obviously during the winter months your lips your skin in general can get really really dry but my lips in particular do tend to get quite dry during the winter months i'm forever applying lip balm so something like this hopefully if i can pop this on overnight um may reduce the amount of times i have to apply my lip balm during the day so that is the second to last item there's still another item in here and it's another brand that i'm not actually familiar with and it's also one that there's a leaflet for so it's called the magic lab and it's deeper sleep bath bomb but it's a crushed bath bomb so i guess it's kind of like a mixture of a bath bomb and bath salts maybe and um, but this is worth three pound fifty and it contains magnesium which soothes muscles and nerves to help your body relax and promote a comfortable and restful sleep so there's a little leaflet here there's a few different um a few different variations of this product as well. So this one is the lavender version, as you can see there, um, to relax the body of mind, to prepare for a deeper and longer sleep. Again, perfect for um, the sleep, the sweet dreams theme. Um, again, 100% natural, vegan, naturally relaxing, cruelty free, and it uses the highest grade magnesium. I like to use magnesium in all sorts of things. It helps, particularly, I do a lot of exercise, a lot of weight training. It's really, really good for helping to ease off those muscles after you've done quite an intense training session. Um, but yeah, it's a crushed bath bomb. So it's, as you can probably hear, it's not actually intact as you would expect a normal bath bomb to be. Uh, but the other variations by the looks of it, um, there looks like there's eucalyptus, um, peppermint, there's another one, but I can't quite see what that one is, but it's a skin detox type one. Um, 
obviously you can pop onto their website and check them out. There's a discount code here as well, um, 50% off all of their bath bombs, um, which is valid until the end of January. And then this just tells you a little bit about the key benefits of magnesium. As I mentioned, it helps to uh, soothe the joints and muscles, but it also helps to reduce fatigue, improve quality of sleep and increase flexibility, boosts exercise performance, reduces stress and anxiety, strengthens hair and nails, reduces cramps, and it helps with softer and smoother skin as well. So quite a lot of benefits. Um, and really this, it sounds like there's quite a lot in there. Um, so there's probably a, a few baths out of that, unless you wanted to uh, go rogue and pour it all in. I'm not here to judge. So that's the final item in the box. So the total value of the box, as it says on the little description here, is £62.94. And if I just kind of talk you through the prices now, you'll kind of get a gist for how much money you'll be saving by subscribing to this box as opposed to buying all of the products separately. Um, so the monthly rolling subscription price is £24.95 a month. You can also prepay for three months, which is £71.10, or you can prepay for six months, which is £138. If you want to just kind of try the box out without committing to a subscription, you can do that. You can just buy a one-off box, which is £25.95. If you don't want to commit to every month, but you do want to subscribe, they do offer a bi-monthly subscription. So obviously every two months. And again, you would pay £24.95, but only every two months. They also do, as I mentioned earlier, they do plastic free editions every quarter. So if you just want to specifically subscribe only to the plastic free editions, you can again do that. It's the same price, £24.95, but only every uh, three months. So, they also do, um, if you're lucky, they're not all, they don't always have these in stock, um, but they do also have Lucky Dip boxes on the website, which are £10 and they usually contain around three or four items that they've had in previous boxes. So again, if you want to just kind of dip your toe in and get an idea for the kind of items that you can expect if you were to go on to subscribe, a Lucky Dip box is a really good idea and obviously it's a nice little treat you can buy it as a gift for somebody um, if you know that they're somebody that likes natural products or cruelty free products. Um, and obviously as it's getting up to December, we're all starting to think about, or at least I'm starting to think about Christmas gifts. I know a lot of you are probably way more prepared than me and have probably already bought all of your gifts. Um, but this kind of thing for those of you who have somebody that you're never really quite sure what to get them, maybe a lucky bit box would be a perfect idea. All of the options come with free delivery as well. So let's have a quick recap of the products. So we had the Maglab um, crushed bath bomb, the lavender version. Now I have to get everything back into the box, which is always a struggle. We had the Dr. Pawpaw overnight lip mask. The Urban Vida Radiance Replenishing Night Cream. There was the Melita Natural Skincare Combination Facial Oil. The Chapito MT Sleep Oil. And finally, the Bloom and Blossom Pyjama Armour Dry Body Oil. And the theme, once again, was Sweet Dreams. I think all of the products really fit in very well uh, with that theme, as they always tend to do. Um, I know you've kind of heard me go on and on and on about this box and um, how well I think it's put together, how much I always enjoy receiving it every month. I've been subscribed for over three years now. Not once have I ever had a box where I've opened it and been disappointed with what's been inside it. Um, even when I've seen the spoilers for what's inside the box, I've still been really excited when it's come and it's still felt, you know, like a little treat, particularly if you've kind of had a bit of a a rough month or if you're kind of um, just wanting to treat yourself it's always nice to receive it it's always nice to get it um, even if I already know what's inside if I don't know what's inside that's even better uh, but I've never once opened a box and been like oh, it's a bit rubbish it never once have I thought that I've always opened it up and been really happy with what's inside uh, and I've got a lot of use out of it and I've also discovered 
a lot of brands that are now absolute staples for me. They're brands that I continually use and, and purchase that I probably never would have discovered if it wasn't for this box and for other subscription boxes like it too. So that's everything that I was going to show you. Let's kind of pack all of this away. Um, I will be back very shortly. I do have my FabFitFun box pending to be dispatched to me. So hopefully I'll be bringing that to you sometime in early December. And obviously I will be bringing you the December natural beauty box. The Christmas editions are always a little bit more special, aren't they? Um, and usually the natural beauty box do tend to pull out all the stops when it comes to spoiling their subscribers for Christmas. So very much looking forward to that. Um, but for now, I will leave you all to it and I'll see you all soon. Bye.